Well, we start this half hour with the husband accused of killing his wife, allegedly concocting a coronavirus story to try to throw cops off his trail. One of the women's friends talking to ABC and Ariel Reshef joins us with more. Good morning to you, Ariel. Hey, good morning to you, Eva. Gretchen Anthony is still missing in the midst of a pandemic. Her friends and family say they've received strange messages from her cell phone saying she's come down with COVID-19, but no hospital has any record of her as a patient, according to police, and her estranged husband is now charged with murder. This morning, the mystery deepening in the disappearance of this Florida mother. She was a wonderful person that didn't deserve any of this. 51-year-old Gretchen Anthony was last seen at her Jupiter home in mid-March. In this affidavit, detectives say a neighbor reported a blood-curdling scream, a woman yelling, no, no, it hurts, around 6 a.m. the morning she vanished. The document says around that same time, you can also hear Gretchen screaming in surveillance video from her porch, a male subject seen carrying an unknown object. She didn't come to work, which was very unlike her. She didn't call or text or anything. Gretchen's estranged husband, David Anthony, leaving the state, arrested in New Mexico days later, extradited to Florida Thursday, charged with murder and kidnapping. Co-workers say after Gretchen went missing, they received a suspicious email from her saying she had come down with an acute case of COVID-19. The language in the email was, ex it was, it was alarming. Police say multiple witnesses also received text messages from Gretchen's phone claiming she had been admitted to a clinic with coronavirus. But those who know her say it just didn't add up. At this point, everyone's saying, well, this is really strange, you know. So they called the police. Things didn't look right. In the affidavit, police say they found Gretchen's car in the parking lot of a local hospital. But the hospital never had a record of her as a patient. The document also saying surveillance video showed a taller white male with dark hair dropping off that car. Police say blood was found in the garage of Gretchen's home and surveillance video showed a water jug with a blood like substance on it. The report saying that same male subject looks directly into a garage camera, grabs it with a gloved hand and pulls it down. The report says a witness identified the male in the video as David. I just really hope that anybody that you know, has any information will come forward because I feel like there's got to be somebody that saw something. And the couple filed for divorce earlier this year. At last check, David is being held without bail. His attorney could not be reached for comment. Wit. Certainly an alarming case. Ariel Resha for us. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.